the topic is hash functions itut recommendation x.805 security architecture a hash function is any function that can be used to map data of arbitrary size onto data of fixed size hash functions are often used in combination with a hash table a common data structure used in computer software for rapid data lookup uses hash tables hash functions are used in hash tables to quickly locate a data record given its search key hash tables are also used to implement associative arrays and dynamic sets why are they important hash functions are important and ubiquitous cryptography building blocks most cryptographic hash functions are designed to take a string of any length as input and produce a fixed length hash value therefore they are used to assure integrity and authentication ideal cryptographic hash function has four properties it is quick to compute the hash value for any given message it is infeasible to generate a message from its hash value it is infeasible to modify a message without changing the hash value it is infeasible to find two different messages with the same hash value cryptographic hash functions are used for verifying the integrity of files or messages password protection and verification generation of pseudo random bits or to derive new keys or passwords from a single secure key or password file or object identifier in mercurial and some p2p file sharing networks some general purpose hash functions are md4 md5 sha1 sha2 sha3 out of these the first three are not recommended anymore the other two are often used The International Telecommunication Union ITU is a United Nations specialized agency in the field of telecommunications. ITU T is responsible for studying technical, operating and tariff questions and issuing recommendations on them with a view to standardizing telecommunications on a worldwide basis. Security architecture. Security architecture was created to address the global security challenges of service providers enterprises and consumers and is applicable to wireless optical and wireline voice data and converged networks the security architecture addresses security concerns for the management control and use of network infrastructure services and applications so what are the three essential questions with regard to the security what kind of protection is needed what are the distinct types of network equipment and facility groupings that need to be protected and what are the distinct types of network activities that need to be protected these questions are addressed by three architectural components these are security dimensions security layers and security planes security dimensions Security dimension is a set of security measures designed to address a particular aspect of the network security. This recommendation identifies eight such sets that protect against all major security threats. In addition, the security dimensions apply to service providers or enterprises offering security services to their customers. The security dimensions are access control, authentication, non-repetition, data confidentiality, communication security data integrity availability privacy security layers in order to provide an end to end security solution the security dimensions must be applied to a hierarchy of network equipment and facility groupings which are referred to as security layers this recommendation defines three security layers the infrastructure security layer the services security layer and the application security layer which build on one another to provide network based solutions 
Security layers are a series of enablers for secure network solutions. The infrastructure layer enables the services layer and the services layer enables the applications layer. Security layers identify where security must be addressed in products and solutions by providing a sequential perspective on network security. Security planes. A security plane is a certain type of network activity protected by security dimensions. This recommendation defines three security planes to represent the three types of protected activities that take place on a network. The security planes are the management plane, control plane, and the end user plane. These security planes address specific security needs associated with network management activities, network control or signaling activities, and end user activities correspondingly. Networks should be designed in such a way that events on one security plane are kept totally isolated from the other security planes. For example, a flood of DNS lookups on the end user plane initiated by end user requests should not lock out the OAM and P interface in the management plane that would allow an administrator to correct the problem. 